بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وی وڈ لرن اباؤٹ ہسٹولوجی آف دی ٹانگ ٹانگ از ایکچولی اے میس آف اسٹرائیٹیڈ مسل دیٹ از کورڈ بائی میوکوزا اینڈ مسل فائبرز آر اورینٹیڈ ان آل ڈائریکشنس ناؤ ٹانگ ہیز ٹو سرفیسز دی ڈورسل سرفیس ہیئر یو کین سی ڈورسل سرفیس اینڈ دی وینٹرل سرفیس The dorsal surface is further divided into the anterior two-third part and the posterior one-third part. Anterior two-third is also called the papillary surface because it contains the lingual papilla and posterior one-third is called the tonsillar area because it contains the lingual tonsils. These two areas are separated by the V-shaped sulcus terminalis or the terminal sulcus. Here you can see the V-shaped sulcus terminalis or the terminal sulcus. Mucosal specializations of tongue are lingual papilla and taste buds. Now we will compare four different types of lingual papillae. These include filiform papillae that are the most numerous, then fungiform papillae, foliate papillae and circumvallate papillae. If we see the shape of these papillae, filiform are thread-like, slender and are elongated and fungiform are mushroom shaped and foliate are leaf-like, whereas circumvallate papillae are the largest and are surrounded by deep grooves or trenches. form papilla are numerous on the anterior two thirds of the dorsal surface whereas fungi form are numerous on the tip of the tongue whereas foliate are located on each side of tongue anterior to the sulcus terminalis and circumvallate are 8 to 12 in number and are found just anterior to the sulcus terminalis no taste buds are present in the filiform papilla fungi form papilla have numerous taste buds foliate papilla have many taste buds and circumvallate have the taste buds in epithelial linings of tubes Now if we see epithelia of all these papillae, all the papillae are covered by the stratified squamous non-cartonized epithelium except the filiform papillae that are covered by the stratified squamous heavily cartonized epithelium. The filiform papillae are also lightly cartonized and uh, the foliate papillae have the cartonized peaks in posterior part. The filiform papillae are smallest but are most numerous. They have rough surfaces and they contain the afferent nerve endings. Fungiform papillae have the dilated upper part and the narrower lower part. And foliate papillae contain the parallel ridges. The most important point about the circumvallate papillae is that ducts of the serous gland that are called the von Ebner gland or the gustatory gland open in the base of the grooves that surround the circumvallate papillae. Few other points about the papillae are that fungiform papillae are more abundant close to tip of the tongue and watery secretions of the von Ebner's gland serve to flush the food materials out of the grooves that surround the circumvallate papillae so that the taste buds can respond to changing taste stimuli. Foliate papillae undergo gradual atrophy so in old people they are not recognizable. Now you should be able to recognize the different types of papillae. And the filiform papillae are long and slender like fungi form papillae have the uh, mushroom like appearance and foliate papillae have the leaf like appearance whereas circumvallate papillae are surrounded by the trenches or the grooves that contain the taste buds Now we will study about the taste buds. Taste buds are receptors for taste sensation and are involved in perception of five tastes sweet, sour, salty, bitter and umami. Their location is mainly on the dorsal surface of the tongue, on soft palate, on the laryngeal surface of the epiglottis and their shape is oval, they are pale staining in H and D. Their size is about 70 to 80 micrometer long and 40 to 50 micrometer wide. Their apex communicates with the oral cavity through a small aperture that is called the taste pore. There are three types of cells in the taste buds, the sustentacular cells, the neuroepithelial cells and the basal cells. Sustentacular cells are also called the supporting cells. These are elongated cells and they bear the long microvilli projecting into taste pores and there are two varieties of the sustentacular cells, type 1 and type 2 or the dark and light cells. Neuroepithelial cells are also called the gustatory cells, taste cells or the type 3 cells. These are elongated, tall cells. Amner cells with the long microvilli on their free surface and at the base they form the synapses with the afferent nerve fibers and convey the taste sensation to the central nervous system. Basal cells are small and these are roughly oval cells and they serve as the stem cells and they divide and differentiate into the sustentacular cells and the taste cells. Here you can see the diagram of the taste bud. The apex of the taste bud is opening into the oral cavity through the taste pore and it contains three types of the cells, the basal cells, the sustentacular cell and the gustatory cells and gustatory cells contain the sensory nerve endings that convey the taste perceptions to the central nervous system.
Gul branch of the trigeminal nerve carries the general sensations from the anterior to third of the tongue, whereas the coda tympani branch of the facial nerve carries the special sensations from anterior to third of the tongue, which include the taste sensations. The general and the special sensations from the posterior one third of the tongue are carried by the glossopharyngeal nerve, and the most posterior part of the tongue is supplied by the internal laryngeal nerve or the vagus nerve. All the muscles of the tongue are supplied by the hypoglossal nerve, that is, the cranial nerve number 12. Bye.